How important is maritime cooperation in today's geopolitics? The relevance of maritime cooperation is more profound than ever. In the vast expanse of our global seascape, it serves as the lifeline that secures the sea lines of communication, a vital artery for international trade. More than just a conduit for commerce, it's a beacon of peace, promoting dialogue and understanding among nations. And let's not forget its role in deterrence, showcasing unity against potential threats, thereby underlining the importance of collective security. On April 7, 2024, this question will be put to the test as the Philippines, the United States, Australia and Japan engage in a first-ever maritime cooperative activity. The Philippines, together with its treaty ally, the United States and strategic partners Australia and Japan, will conduct a first-ever maritime cooperative activity within the Philippines' exclusive economic zone. This unprecedented event will witness the participation of air and naval units from all four nations. But let's be clear, this is not just another training exercise, this is a joint patrol. A show of unity, collaboration and shared commitment to maritime security within the region. Picture this. A fleet of ships from four nations cutting through the azure waters of the Pacific. Above them, aircraft from the same nations flying in formation, their silhouettes stark against the sky. This is a testament to the power of cooperation, a display of shared resolve among allies and strategic partners. The maritime cooperative activity is not an isolated event, it's a statement, a message. It's about the future. It's about the commitment of these nations to uphold international law and maintain peace and stability within the region. This is expected to be the first of many such activities in the future, signaling a new era of maritime cooperation. What does this mean for the region and how will others react? That's the million-dollar question. The ripple effects of this maritime cooperative activity are likely to reverberate across the geopolitical landscape. Countries like China, which lays claim to the Philippines' Western Exclusive Economic Zone despite the claim being legally rejected by the United Nations Convention on the Law of the Sea, may not take kindly to this show of unity and cooperation. China's reaction will be particularly noteworthy as this activity can be seen as a challenge to their territorial claims. It's not just an exercise in maritime cooperation, but also a clear message affirming the rule of international law and the rights of nations to their exclusive economic zones. Furthermore, this cooperative activity could potentially set a precedent for future collaborations. It signals a deepening of ties and strengthening of alliances which could further shift the regional power dynamics. But let's not forget that the primary intent of this activity is to promote peace, stability, and cooperation in the region. It's not about provocation, but about ensuring that international waters are safe and accessible for all. In the world of geopolitics, a show of unity can send a powerful message. The ripple effects of this maritime cooperative activity will be felt far and wide, underlining the undeniable importance of maritime cooperation.